Hey, what's going on, my friend? You made it. Welcome to the channel. Perfect timing. I was just about to do your series cusp reading with my light seer's tarot deck, right? So stick around to the end to get your message. Let me just shuffle these cards up here real quick and give a shout out to my Divine Squad. Those are my subscribers. Also to my members. I got a video coming out for you, so stick around for that for members, right? And I'm going to give a shout out to you. Clicking this video, checking it out, right? So let me shuffle these up here one more time and we'll get right into it. Apparently we're into it now, okay? <laughs> Bottoms the top, you got three cards. Ooh, look at the Hierophant. Ooh, that's a nice card to start off with. And then you got the Seven of Pentacles. Mmm. So this tells me right away that you're trying to invest in your your vibration you're raising your vibration right maybe you're getting into uh spirituality you know things like that that you're definitely trying to um plant seeds and watch them grow right three of swords mm. isn't that interesting for the first card of your story mm. i'm feeling like you, something made you change your mind, right? Because this is the present energy. This is the story. This is what you'd be going through, right? So if something either hurt you or mm, made you change your mind to get into this energy. Whew. These cards are just really want to talk. The wheel. The cycle. Over. So... Whatever had hurt you to make you want to invest in, you know, your higher self, that that hurt, that pain, that heartache whoosh, is done because that karmic wheel is there cycle for you for page of wands. Look at you all excited and happy, right? You're definitely feeling very passionate in this moment because you get to escape the hurt and the pain through just the cycle changing, right? And hence the cycle changing where in, in full moon status right i think it's in gemini so that that's perfect because the moon runs in cycles and so don't we the chariot that's the divine uber saying get in going somewhere right so you're on your way to raising your vibration getting into this you know spiritual side of yourself right trying to get into your higher self this is your investment, right? Nice. Let's keep shuffling and move on. All right. Come on. <laughs> and your mind is completely made up. Three of Wands. You've made your decision to invest in your spirituality, your higher self. And bam, you're doing it. Or you will be doing it. Look at that, fierce as a lion, right? Leader, king of wands, man. You're definitely ready to go. You've made up your mind. I mean, this is all what I'm feeling is, for some of you, it's already happened. For the others, this is the process that's happening to you now, okay? Because we are in that full moon. beautiful this is the truth my friends the ace of swords you're getting your clarity you're getting your truth you know who you are and you know what you want mm. meet that the six of swords six of swords you know the truth is to move away from any kind of karmic cycles that hold you back and you know hurt you betray you things like that and once you realize this you kind of you're happy about moving forward you're locking in your decision you're standing in your authoritative um position ready to move forward knowing the truth and clarity that you gotta move away six of swords moving away And that ends any kind of 
betrayals or backstabs, hurts, and this is why you're happy because you don't have to go through that anymore. Mmm. Wow. All right. Ten of swords. Six of swords. That's 16 swords. Six and one is seven. Divine Uber chariot. You understand what I'm saying? Good. <laughs> uh, not everybody gets it, but you know, hey, the ones that are due, they're valuable to me. So there you go. There's the fool card. Boom. Betrayal done. Fool card taking that leap of faith, right? With the chariot. So you're definitely being led by faith because why? You're raising your vibrations, getting into your higher self, making that investment to end the cycles of heartbreak be happy to move forward and joyful in your soul because this is what you're elevating and you're definitely uh convicted by your decisions of the truth because you don't want to deal with this no more so you end the betrayals and the hurts and the backstabs and all that and psh, now you're on your new journey so congratulations we're getting to the end <laughs> let's get to a couple more cards of the outcome and then we'll get to your grand finale <sighs> Hey man, okay, so now you can take a break. Now you can just chill, stuck, right? Stuck as in, stuck in your decision, right? You're definitely not going backwards. So now you can just chill out after you, you know, you start getting on this journey, taking that leap of faith, being led by faith, bam. And this is all something that you can manifest or you're manifesting now. Because if you're trying to invest in a, your higher self, that's definitely a manifestation of the magician. Perfect. Let's get to your outcome. Yeah. So you go from the page of wands to the queen of wands. Look at you. Confident, controlled, happy, passionate, invigorated. Mm. definitely happy about your decisions and there's the ace of pentacles follow the yellow brick road there is your new opportunity for abundance and abundance could be you know emotional could be logical but this looks like a good road for you to go down on so that has been your reading my friends appreciate your time and your energy for sticking around watching the whole video click the like button and subscribe become part of this divine family maybe even a member you know what i mean but tell your friends and tell your neighbors all about my channel Enjoy your weekend. Be safe, be blessed, and be brave, my friends. I'll see you again.